Today, Chris Antin will tell you how to create a super high voltage generator based on TV's voltage multipliers UM927. <laughs> Remember, if you want to make such a thing, I recommend you to follow all the safety instructions, cause an electric discharge from their multiplier is deadly dangerous. An old flyback transformer for an old TV is a part of this generator. It's supposed to be provided with high frequency current, which I'll get from an electronic transformer of a halogen lamp. It converts the current from 50 Hz to 30 kHz. It is necessary for stable operation of the flyback transformer. I've removed the extra wiring so that there is only a high voltage left. And then I wrap a wire around this crossbar exactly 7 times and connect them to the electronic transformer. And there is 7000 volts of current produced for now. But that's not enough. For the further increasing this voltage, I'm going to use some multipliers. And now I've got 35000 volts. And here comes the most exciting part. I'll join everything in a single circuit, a few dozens of multipliers. But it's not that easy. To connect all these multipliers, we have to find a secret A spot because we can make them one unit only throughout drilling these places. And you have to drill very accurately through the spots. Be careful not to damage the wires and the capacitors inside. Then I connect the multipliers according to the scheme. So now they are 11. Let's test them right away. I'm getting electrical shocks from the bed. It breaks out of the bed to the wire. The result was very impressive. Those lightnings reach up to 27 centimeters length. That's approximately 270,000 volts. I don't get what's happening there. Can't stop wonder what might happen to a Nokia being exposed to such a high voltage. But Nokia is still alive. A stubborn little devil. The apple we tested has faded a little. It looked cooked inside, like it was boiled. But the Nokia still works. The voltage turned out to be so high that the objects we tested were glowing in the dark. And it's called an iron wind. And there were some electrical strikes between the objects. So we decided to dip them in oil. What's going there? It's an iron pump for oil pumping. The high voltage reacted really strangely with the oil. It has created a powerful flow. The most important is that the oil has insulated the multipliers nicely, so they don't strike each other anymore. There are 20 powerful TV multipliers marked UM927 connected into one unit. According to our calculation, they will produce more than 500,000 volts of continuous voltage. And in purpose to get a megavolt, we have to create a potential difference. And we have to assemble a negative pole. Just have a look at this awesome lightnings, they're so branchy. And there's around a million volts. I wonder what will happen to the Nokia now. Let's see. The battery starts glowing right away. Wow, a direct strike. Has the battery died? Look at this, it's working! I don't know, maybe some kind of Super Nokia shield technology. Maybe the current just passing through the frame. There is one interesting fact. While the coal is going, the lightnings occur more often. And this indirectly proves that mobiles do attract lightnings. And it's also fascinating that all the lightnings go only from the phone to the apple. As you can see it on the screen clearly. In the following video you will see the experiments with this high voltage generator and will also show you what will happen to a man if to expose him to high voltage. We've got really impressive results. 
What would you like us to expose to the current of our voltage generator? Write in comments and we'll do it!